Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to install and review the Halo View BT7 Touch backup camera. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. About a year ago, I ran across this Halo View camera and installed it on our Casita travel trailer, and we fell in love with it. It's one of the best cameras I've ever dealt with, and I can also use it as a rear view mirror as I'm driving down the road. Halo View contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review their latest camera and display, which is a touchscreen. The camera is the same, but the display is new, so this will be that review and installation. To begin with, we'll go ahead and show you part of the original installation because the cameras are the same. First thing we need to do is remove the old camera. And we're just going to use the same connector that goes through the actual trailer here. Twist unscrew it. You'll pull the wire back out. We've already cut it on the inside. We then used a hair dryer for the heat and a plastic knife so we wouldn't mar the trailer to take the old VHB mounted bracket off. Now I obviously already have the connector through on here so I'm going to show you the old video so that anybody that's doing this as a new installation that doesn't have a camera back here you'll see how we did this. Just use your drill bit, drill through your fiberglass. Now once you get through your fiberglass and you get to the actual carpet, if you reverse your drill and drill through the carpet running in reverse will actually cut through the carpet but it won't wind the carpet up on the actual drill bit and make a mess this is a connector that we used i'll put a link in the description it's got a rubber gasket we also put silicon on it just push it through your hole here and then have somebody hold it from the outside while you go inside and put the locking nut on the inside and once you're on the inside you'll have to cut the carpet back a little bit so you can get the nut on there but this is where your cable is going to come through in the back cabinet. And then just remember to put your locking nut for the outside over your cable before you stuff your cable through. And then just stick your cable down through the hole and put the locking nut on. Then you're ready to go inside and actually connect it. Once you get your locking nut here, just going to go inside to the rear cabinet of your trailer. And over on the passenger side of your trailer, there's going to be a 12 volt DC plug. We just ran the cable in here along the other cables on the back side here over to the 12 volt DC plug. We do have a switch in line also so we can turn the camera on and off. Just make sure you get your positive positive and your negative to negative. Uh, I would recommend heat shrinking these connections so you have a good solid connection. And then you can just stuff these wires down with the other wires that are running in the back of this cabinet. And now you have power to your new camera. And this is a close-up of everything once it's finished where the cable comes through the inside of the trailer. Now, as far as the new camera on the outside, we mounted it with VHB tape just like we did last time. Just make sure your surface is clean. Clean it with alcohol. Brush it off. You know, wipe it off so there's no lint. Run your cable down through the connector like we did here. And it'll mount right up here. And uh, you can see it's, it's stable. It's not going anywhere. So now we're ready to use our new backup camera. All right, and let's talk about this new touch screen. It's uh, going to work real similar to the old one, except everything is touch display. And you see, I just touch the screen here, and it brings up our menu on the bottom. We have we can select up to four different channels or four different cameras, and we have Q mode here, which we can select all four cameras at once. And then all the way on the right is going to be your basic menu. The first one up here, if I touch it, it's going to be volume, where I can control the volume for the camera or turn it off, whichever I want. The next one is going to be to pair with a camera, which we already have it paired with ours, so let me get back out of this. The next one here is going to be just some setups for your display, brightness, contrast, color, and the camera LED being on or off. Next one is going to be whether you're going to have it display as a straight on camera or if you have it going to do reverse mode like it would be if you were looking at it in rear view mirror. And that's how I have mine set up. 
And then over on the right over here is going to be the Q mode where we can look at four different cameras at once. Then we have a setting here which trigger is always off. We're going to use NTSC because we're in North America. And we have the to uh, the auto zoom and all, or excuse me, auto dim is all set on. Q mode where you can set up wherever how you want to look at it. This is our screen display uh, where we can have how long we want the screen to stay on or off. Scan mode, we can select that and that would scan for cameras. This is our uh, backup lines. Oh, and let me show you this on the backup lines. You can adjust how the backup lines look. That's what this button is for. I actually have the backup lines off because I use it as a review, me, review mirror. And then the record button here, if I had a card in there, I could set it up for to record. I can uh, set it up to format the card. And it's going to put the date and time that I've got set in the camera here. And the last thing over here on the right is going to be play. If I actually had a uh, card in there with videos, I could do that. Now, if I double tap the screen, you can see I can turn my backup lines on and off. I can turn the next one over as my speaker on and off. This is uh, your display brightness. You can see I just tapped through and changed my display brightness. This is going to be, there's actually LED lights on the camera. And I can turn that on, on and off here. And then this one is a record button. And then the end one down here is to scan for more cameras. And that's the touch screen. And that's how easy it works. And we've actually used it on several trips and we love it. Um, I mean, either camera, whether you have the red one or the touch screen, they work good. Uh, it's, as you can see here, it's just easy to go in and out with the touch screen. Uh, you don't have to hit buttons and we love it. So we would highly recommend either camera that you would want for your trailer. It's a great backup camera and it's wonderful to use as a rear view mirror as you're driving down the road. This is going to be an example of it as a rear view mirror. You can see I'm driving down the road uh, and this is what it looks like behind my trailer as I'm going. And then we get over to our campsite and this is what it looks like as I'm backing into my campsite using the camera. Well, with that being said, we want to tell you we appreciate you watching and thank you very much for your support. And we'll see you in the campground.